Okay, so this is an update on my robot, Odin. So, as you can see, he's a bit different to what he was before. He still does, he's got new wheels, he's got new sensors, new everything, a mobile as well. And I'll get back to what the mobile's there for after. But this is mainly just to run to show you what the controller does currently. So, if you didn't know, it's run by a PS3 controller. And so it actually moves around with this, if you didn't see it. So I got the parallel side to side movement working now. So it works like a charm. And so, also, I've got some collision detecting into it. So let's say that I'm trying to move him into the wall. He actually stops. I can't move, can move forward. But then I move backwards. Now say that I want to reverse into into the wall now, even on an angle, it works. And also left to right movement also is collision detecting. So let's say I'm trying to move him into the wall, I can't move him into the wall. And the other side as well. Nothing at all. So that was one of the features that I added to him. Now another one is that I added some some extra settings. So if we press start here, you will see that he starts moving based on the movement of the controller. So see how I'm trying to move I make him move forward with the controller. The left and right is a bit jittery. And if you leave them straight, the triggers make them spin on the spot. So that's that one. I'm going to move forward into the camera again. And we press start again, and he's back to the analog stick motion. Now, select is a special one, and that actually changes it so that the sensors actually move him around. So basically, if I bring my hand a bit close here, it starts moving away. Now let's bring the other hand around. He actually moves away. So he's trying to reverse away from your hand, wherever it is. So that's what makes him, and you can do it diagonally if I can get two sides to come up. No, I can't get two sides. But, oh, I sort of got it there. But, as you can see, he can move diagonally around and stuff. And so select makes him just move without any input of the controller. See, the controller does nothing at all. You can press anything, anything. And then you press select back again. And it goes back to analog stick motion. Now, to explain the camera, I sort of have to get Odin to key... I mean the phone, I sort of have to get Odin away from here to give you an idea of what he does. So, there's Odin sitting right over there, and here's my laptop connected to him. So, this actually gives a live feed of what Odin is actually seeing, and where he is currently at in the world. So as you can see, he's currently on the lino in my kitchen. And you can give 360 movements around him. I'm still... Oh, there's me. I'm still controlling him with the controller. As you can see. He does 360s. He turns. And basically it's a Wi-Fi hotspot that anyone can join in. And they can see Odin's feed through the any web browser. So as you saw there, my mum just went by. But yeah. And so if we drive back to here can see him going forward. He's coming closer to me. So there's our TV on the wall. There's me just sitting there on the floor, doing nothing. 
and see, look, parallel movement. It could be like tracking a shot, something. And he's sitting right over there. So that's the reason of the phone. And that's about all I've added to him currently. I'm trying to get some sound on him now as well, but I think he seems pretty cool with what he's got now. Thanks for watching.